marriage compatibility now which this i'm talking about marriage compatibility okay so if you have a number something you're not compatible with but still you can be friends with that number but for marriage there are certain combinations which are very very important because there are some friendly numbers there are some neutral numbers there are certain enemy numbers right So marriage compatibility one, one is very compatible with nine, very compatible, very compatible with two, two is called the queen, one and two go hand in hand, five, the prince, three, the guru, Jupiter, then compatible with six, Venus, because see, Venus has some work with all, all the time with one and one is compatible with one. And if you are a number four and seven, still you can get married. But if you are born on number 8, for example, if a person is born on 1, 10, 19 and 28, that person should not get married to a person who is born on 8th, 17th and 16th. Saturn and Sun do not go hand in hand with each other. Are you able to understand? Yeah. 26, not 16, right? Doctor, for 8. Yeah, yeah, 26. Sorry, did I say something else? Yeah, that's fine. 26. Okay, so I'll just repeat. 1, 10, 19, 28. 17, six, uh, 16 I said. 17, 8 and 26. 1 plus 7, 8. 2 plus 6, 8. And 7 on 7. Sorry, 8 on 8. Now, <clears throat> suppose if you are born on 2, 6, 8. 6th number is still inherently there. So, this will be better than 17. So, if you're if you are 8 born on 17th and if you are 8 born on 26th, the 8 born on 26th will be much more lucky. First of all, you have 3 numbers. 3 numbers, of course, 7 has. But 7 brings a lot of struggles and delays. And hence, special remedies are required for number 7. A lot of... If you have 2 times number 7... Lot of struggles. You have a number seven. The destiny is seven. So, Shilpa, if you uh, over a period of time, if you see that whatever you believe intuitively will 100% come to you. So, I'm going to now <clears throat> go to number two. Marriage compatibility with two, one, of course, Surya and Moon, five, three and two. Extremely good compatibility. <clears throat> Six and seven, okay, okay. But you can still go ahead. Strict no for four, eight and nine. Now, I'm going to explain this a little bit. See, when I will be doing the classes, I'll be explaining each and everything. Here, I'm just putting the numbers out. <clears throat> why the compatibility? Why no compatibility? Now, when two number is there and four number is there, two number people will talk about emotions, sensitivity and caregiving, and four number people will talk more about in thoughts, money, struggles, this, that. So after some time, the emotional needs of number two are not met by number four. And eight, Saturn number, two water, eight is earth. Somewhere it is not match that <clears throat> Surya Shani uh, sorry Chandrama Shani Vishyog poisonous arrow and number 9 2 and 9 absolutely because 9 number is a given number and 2 will talk all the time about emotions Ye chahiye, wo chahiye. 9 number doesn't have the time marriage compatible <laughs> they don't have time Marriage compatibility, three number people get married to somebody born on one, get married to somebody born on five, because get married to somebody born on a three or a two. That is the best compatibility for them. Okay, okay is seven, four, eight and nine. So three can get married to four, three can get married to eight also. Why I'll tell you. When a guru comes, I'm wearing a yellow today, today is Thursday. I'm, what I'm doing, I'm imbibing the qualities of Guru. Wisdom. So when I talk, automatically this 
thing will add on to my aura and I'll be able to talk. So when a guru talks, when a when a person who's explaining talks, three number, Saturn will listen. Almost everybody listens to the guru, except che number. Six number people don't listen. Three and six are absolutely bad combinations. They'll keep on fighting. Find a couple who is six. After five years, they will definitely keep on fighting. Their ideas do not match. Because six looks for luxury shortcut. It will talk about, um, you know, the easy way. And Guru will say, talk to me about integrity. Talk to me about value. Talk to me about the good things in life. Okay. I hope people are enjoying. Huh? I'm giving, I'm, 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 I love teaching numerology. It's, uh, and it's very, very uh, easy. And, uh, you know, to able, you, you are able to understand the only thing is you need a good person to guide you exactly what it is. So total, no. Three and six combinations, no. Guru and Shukra, absolutely no. They will not get along. The Jupiter person will not get along with the Guru, guru person. Four number compatibility. The best compatibility with number seven because Rahu and Ketu are the parts of the same body. Swarna Bhanu. So Rahu, hundred percent yes comp compatibility. It's like you have you have you are meeting each other. He's thinking I'm walking. Number five, extremely good. Number one and number six. So four number people can get married to number seven, five, one, and six. With three and two, it is okay, okay. But a complete low, a four should not get married to four because both of them will have separate ideas. Both of them will be the thinking persons. They will not talk to each other. Number eight, four and eight are very good with as friends. But when it comes to permanent relationships, they are not good. Four number people will be very, very, you know, talking about money fast, luxury fast and everything. And eight number people will talk about Aram se. Struggles are there. Delays are there. And number nine, he, number nine is the warrior planet. Rahu will say, I want it fast. I want it quick. I want it the wrong way. Number nine will say, I'm a humanitarian number. I cannot. So that is why they have difference in their ideas and thoughts. Marriage compatibility with number five. Five is compatible with one. Very compatible with five, two, three and six. Okay, okay with seven, eight, nine, four, nine. If you see, there is no number which is not compatible with number five. Five people have no enemies. They will start, you can shout at them also and they will still make friends. They will, they will move you around. They have no enemies in life. That is why I say people borrow number five, 14 and 23. Extremely good. Got it? 23 ka 5 is much better than 14 ka 5. 6. They are very good with number 1. Because 1 is king. And everybody wants the king. Shukra also wants the king. So number 1. Then number 7. Because Ketu is actually, 6 is a devotee of Ketu. Ketu, which is there, is a devotee. Sorry, 6 is a devotee of Ketu and it just follows number 7 blindly. Number 5 and of course 6 is compatible with 6. Okay, okay with 4. Okay, okay with 8. Okay, okay with 9 and okay, okay with 10. But 6 and 3, not to get married. This is only marriage compatibility. Huh? Now in marriage compatibility, it can come business compatibility also. I will never do a partnership with anybody who is born on the 6th, 15th and 24th. After some time, there will be problems. Now, sleeping partner is okay. But if it is day-to-day -day partner, becomes difficult. Number seven, extremely good with four. You've got your part. Extremely good with six. Six, a dose, seven. One, of course, five and three. Amazing. Okay, okay with seven. It's good with seven, good with eight, good with nine and good with two. And there is no number. Seven number is also one number which has no enemies. 
got it because they are very very spiritual intuitive people number 8 best number to get married number 5 and number 6 number 7 eight number people extremely good for compatible with number 7 and 3 so these number people we will see that you, automatically you will find these numbers around you like it is okay with 9 But eight with one no, eight with two no, eight with four no, eight with eight also. Marriage compatible with nine, complete yes with one, five, and three. Warrior planet wants the king one number. Warrior planet wants the prince five number. Warrior planet is listens to the guru. Whatever the guru says, number nine will number nine will not listen to anybody. But we'll listen to number three because three number is guru. Yeah, Shilpa is happy. Yes, Shilpa. Doctor, everything that you're saying, I'm just nodding because I can relate to so many things and the people in my life. So, right. bang well, on, doctor. I just love numerology because the numbers talk. You know, talking numbers, numbers talk. And if you go by this, you will, uh, you know. Prevent now. You can use this for even your suppose the date of birth is five. You can choose the lucky dates, like lucky numbers, and then go for interviews. Like suppose if I'm a number three, I will avoid, I will avoid starting a workshop on number six, or I will avoid doing anything important on number six, especially six, fifteen, and twenty-four. There is definitely going to be a problem. and a strict no for 2 and 4 two will not at all get along with number 9 and neither number 4 now please understand this is a psychic number ha huh? don't confuse the destiny number shilpa is psychic too so whatever psychic numbers she is not getting along no i am number 7 so i get along well no shilpa will not get along with number 9 shilpa will not get along with number 4 understand they will not be able to be in tune with each other marriages of number 2 and 4 if you see after sometimes they have separate bedrooms doctor i have a lot of questions coming ah, up and you know uh, doctor i didn't want to interrupt you but we we are loving this and uh, thank you for sharing like people have typed on the group that yes yes this is so true people are resonating and so did i uh, doctor quickly you know See, we didn't know this, and we got married to one of our incompatible numbers. So, can remedies, uh, if we learn the course, can can remedies help the situation? Because hundred hundred percent. All right, that that's good, doctor. That's really remedies good. always help. Remedies are very important. I have All started right. incorporating remedies in my life, including my first name. Mm. I've incorporated the number V. Now there is two things. V comes to number six. My number name Gitanjali Saxena did not have a number six. So I got a number six here. Now what happens when number six comes in? Money. See, it's an alphabet, but ultimately it is important. Plus, I resonated it and brought it to number one. So business for business number one is very very important. 